Yo, welcome to Undefeated. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters chatting it up. Because, listen, I'm 0-0. And I'm 2-0. Never tasted defeat. And we're rocking still. Come on, bro. We've had a good, we've had a good <laughs> week, you know. It's been amazing, bro. Like, on, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you, what would you say? I'm going to say a high 8.9. 8.9? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just be getting like Nothing tweets. too unrealistic. But so you just be getting tweets from world champions. That's how your life bruv, is. Bruv, just, yeah, normal. It's normal. That's okay, cool. <laughs> cool, because I'm just saying, for me, like, when I get a tweet from a world champion, it kind of changes my week altogether. Swear down. Yeah, if, if I get a tweet from a world champion, then Muhammad Ali's daughter, like, starts following the account that we have. That's see, a straight 10. See, man, people don't even know what we're talking about It right don't now. matter. They will know now that Muhammad Ali's daughter is following <laughs> She's following the Instagram podcast. page. Bro, it, where are you right now is that- if you're not <laughs> Muhammad Ali's daughter? She's been around greatness her whole life and she's seen us. That's what I'm saying. She's seen us and seen us some, a, 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 some level of greatness. And then hit follow. Oh. <laughs> Do you know how it crazy was, that is? It was powerful. So what, how, when I ask you about your week again, yeah. Mm. What are you mm. gonna say? I'm gonna say ten. I don't even know why I went eight point nine. Yeah, yeah, Not it's crazy. A direct descendant of Muhammad, the greatest of all time. <laughs> the greatest of all time, you know. We might as well say we got followed because the bloodline. Yeah. You know we ancestry.com. We might as well say we got followed by Muhammad Ali. Technically, you know, like the six degrees of separation. Oh one, shit! One sweet, degree sweet. away <laughs> from, <laughs> from Ali. We're one, one, one degree away from boxing greatness. I'm ready to retire today. Listen, if you're not following the account. Something's wrong with you. If you're not listening, something is wrong with you, clearly. Because it's true. It's true. If Muhammad Ali's door can see sense, and, and you if can't, the world, if who, the form, who are you to say <laughs> it's a former world champion? Bro, yeah? Listen. listen, the former world champion had to, he added us directly in it. Break down. Do you want to give them some of the stories? So let's talk about this. So let's talk about it. I didn't want to start like this, but my no, week's been amazing. We're here now. We're here now. Yeah, we're here. So we're last here. episode, we were talking about um, Losers on Netflix, yeah. the Netflix show. Amazing and show. And a story on Michael Bent. And yeah. we had a decent conversation about that. It was a great conversation. So on the Twitter now, I'm looking in the mentions for the account. And mm-hmm. I'm seeing that there's a, a tweet from um, the actual director of the oh. Losers Netflix show. <laughs> Wait, say that, wait, 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 the say actual it, wait. director of the Losers Netflix Madness. series, Mickey or Mikey Dusage. Yeah, don't I, I hope I'm not saying it wrong. If don't I don't say it wrong, if we, we, we're not trying to burn any bridges still. So, see, we had a good conversation about the Michael Benton's view, obviously, his experience yep. with his dad. He tweeted it and he said, This is an important perspective and conversation about mm. parental pressure and expectations in our Michael Benton episode of Losers Netflix. Thank you, Travis J. and Kevin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fuck! Back to Travis J and KG the Comedian. So bro, when you saw that, I was just like, us, bro, I'm looking at the mention, I'm thinking to myself, that looks a bit more official than most tweets that, that come in. So I've hit, I've looked into his bio and I'm like, yeah. oh no, he's telling the truth. This is the real deal. <laughs> Seconds later, Michael Bent <laughs> responds and he goes, thank you for helping former extend. Wait, former. Former. Heavyweight champion. World, world champ. Yeah. Ring thank born. you for, he beat Tommy Morrison, you know. <laughs> Thank you for helping extend the discussion, guys. Important concepts to explore and understand. And he asked both of us. Oh my days, fam! <laughs> See, this is this is this is why we do this. This is why we're this here. Is, this is why we're here. Important discussions, amazing dialogue. Yeah. Lions in the cap. Lions in the cap. <laughs> Lions in the cap. <laughs> Let's go to sheesh. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, people, on like all seriousness, all seriousness, yeah. You gotta subscribe, you gotta like, you gotta follow this thing because this thing's going and we want you to be a part of it because it's your thing, really. The, the mission is beautiful. Design, the mission is great. They can see it. Muhammad Ali's daughter can see it. We can all see it. <laughs> Let's go. It's mad. Yeah. So it's been a good week in boxing as well. It's been a great week in boxing. Your guy fought last Ooh, weekend. My guy fought last weekend. Boats, mm-hmm. the one and only fam. Mm. And the knockout was sweet. British champ. The He's... knockout. The knockout was. Can, the you, knockout, can we say the knockout was sweet? The knockout was delightful. I even. Yeah. I even phoned you. Yeah. As I saw the knockout, and you said you changed your said, opinion. You thought let's... you was worried about Tunde J. No, no, no. I said, to you, I said to you. Yeah. I said your boy serious. Yeah. But that's because I only saw the highlight of the knockout. Mm. I watched the full fight. Mm. And I looked at this and I was like, I'm impressed. 
but I'm also seeing him get tagged for no reason. I've never seen this before. But this is what happens when you don't start I fight understand. people that started their career at 33. Listen, it's what happens when you don't fight when you don't fight chemical engineers, fam. Sell <laughs> down, God, sell God. down. Nah, but I, I'm looking at boys and I, I appreciate the guy's yeah. good. I'm not, I'm not about to just trash him. He, yeah, he was, a, it was a solid performance. And he wait, looked good. On, he did what I, he had to do. Can I put some respect on Anthony Martin's name? Of course, you have yeah. to. I don't have to, but no, I will. No, you have to I because will. I will. You but definitely I'm just have saying to. Both fighters, because we, there, Jay. Bruv. let's go to Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> both fighters. Even when we put the like, we put it out on Instagram, mm. and people have said it's a fight that everyone wants to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, see what yeah. I'm saying? So both fighters, building. the excitement for this fight is building, and I think we're gonna help build this excitement. Oh, because we, yeah, we're helping already. Already t- by talking about end these of the two day, yeah. wanting to fight, end of the and day. my guy knowing that he's gonna win. I watched the fight, and mm-hmm. I ha- I'm watching Boatsy do what he's doing, but yep. I had Yard in mind. Yeah. So I'm watching, and I'm thinking, how does Yard match up to this? And mm-hmm. I, I mean, I don't want to get into this conversation again because we've had it already. Yeah, we've had it. But I honestly, do not see how he's gonna be able to contend with Yard's power. So but, do you want to double down and add more to the bet that we have? Because we're getting Nando's, then you're gonna follow us prayer meeting after. <laughs> Fine. Do you want to do you want to add more? On top what of that? you want to put more on it? I don't know. If you want to add more can, food to it, we can. We can put <laughs> more food. <laughs> I know, not more food. I don't know. Like, <laughs> just gonna you, keep eating. Yeah. Wait. What do you want to like? What do you want to add on top of it? I Bruh, feel like I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You ain't got no confidence. I might even, might even put just a random IOU as in like raw. <laughs> I put that down. You could just, just put a random. You can retreat anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, that's how confident I am. Listen, you know we both we both had tire problems with our cars. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Boy. no, that's that's too that's a that's mad a cool. bet, that's you know. I want to I want to pick up the phone if you say that my tires down <laughs> and I go an IOU because of that Boatsy fight, fam. <laughs> I'm calling it in now, you know. And you you know what? You're never ready to replace your tire. Nah, because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, no one's ready. Well, I you, yeah. So I got I got the run flats on my wheel. Yeah, fam. That morning I was so determined to get to where I was going. I was like. <laughs> I might be able to just make it, you know. <laughs> I started driving, but it was like, dum, 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 dum. <laughs> nah, it was mad. It was mad. Cool. Anyway, um, big up, big up to both fighters. It's a fight that we desperately want to see. I know you, because as you said, you called me and you was like, you know what, uh, you you liked what you saw from Watsi, but I think so. What you, is your thing that you just thought he shouldn't get hit as much as he did? Nah, to be honest, it was a good. It was a good. It was a good showing. There's yeah. not. I'm just. I'm critiquing for the sake of critiquing. Okay. He looked good. He looked sharp. He looked like how he normally looks. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just one of the ones now where it's just like, all right, cool. Well, this fight with Yard and Watsi is gonna boil up. It's gonna just keep boiling and fizzling. Yeah. Because the truth is, Yard and Kovalev is the conversation right now. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I hope that fight gets made. They've been ordered by the WBO, and they've gone. To, I don't think they've been able to negotiate their own kind of splits. So I think he's going to a purse bid right now. But um. That's the fight I really want to see get made. It's exciting. Mm. Um, so, our boy Akoli fought Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah. Do we call him? What, what do you say? Is our, what do you call him? Our, what is uh, not? I don't know him yet. Our boy. No, it's we, your, it's your, it's your. Yeah, because you said we stink. At, my opinion kind of changed because you know we say he stinks at the place. Yeah, I mean, look, I enjoyed. He, he, he did his thing in the last fight. Do you know what it is here? Yeah? He's just one of those fighters I just don't like his style. Okay. That is not like his style. When I see fighters go against all their natural attributes yeah. and do this, like, ju- I just look at it and I'm just like, bruv, like, this ain't it. This ain't it for me. But there's, there's a title fight. There's a title fight on the, on the cards for him, like a really big one, yeah, because I, I think you, um, Usyk vacated. He did vacate. He vacated so today. A, He's moving up to heavyweight. There's a whole and lot of belts. There's gonna, I, I, don't, I think, yeah, all his belts. <laughs> there's, lo- there's loads of belts available, and I think... Um, He'll be able to get one because I don't think that the cruiserweight division is is stacked. So it's one of the ones where it's like a vacant bout where you fight whoever is the eliminator or something. Yeah, and then you go you get the belt. Cool, but you know I just don't see. I don't one. I'm not excited about the cruiserweight division. Okay, to start with. Yeah. Two. I don't even see him staying there. So at that point, he's then going to be what got up to heavyweight. He's already rumbled with. He's already bantered with Dillian White. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So now I'm like, you obviously want to flirt with the idea. He has to put on the weight. He's gonna put on weight. Them guys hit harder. It's, it's. I just don't see much light at the end of the tunnel. I want to see. Akoli. You never know if he can. If he can. If he can light up the cruiserweight division. If he can. It's hard because with Usyk leaving it, it Bruv, does make just, it. He's just gonna have to fight Chamberlain over and over again. <laughs> You know you can fight the yeah, same man. Fight the same Don. Do you even let Camacho it? work his way back up? Fight him again. Like the division is dead to yeah, me. Yeah, right. Cool, bro. But did you see Dillian White's brother? G check. <sighs> Let's Akoli. talk about this, bro. Let's talk. He G checked him on some. 
some passive aggressive I'm on your side but if you slightly want to not listen to me it's going to get nuts you know them slightly uh, would you call it a G check I fully will call it a G check I saw how he spoke to him yeah I watched it cuz I watched it and it was it was a fr- it was very friendly though it was, See, it didn't feel yeah but it, you got you got to look at the undercurrent of that dialogue there, no, the Let's, undercurrent of the dialogue cuz he said my, if my brother was here he'll be on something else that's what i'm saying yeah but i'm a big man so and so and so i know it what you're felt saying friendly it didn't feel like cuz the Coley's a fighter well you got to say all these boxers are fighters all right. these guys get hit in the face you have to you have to take this in. these guys get hit in the face mm-hmm. for a living See, yeah. see, here's my thing, yeah. I Go need on. to know who Dillian White's brother is. No, he's a like, black man. No, but I'm talking like, w- did he fight at some point? Because he's got a presence that's a little different to just any random entourage. Because oh, when, no. when yeah, Chisora yeah, yeah. and Dillian White kicked off, the, everyone was trying to separate the thing. And then the man was just moving away. But yeah, Dillian White's brother is re- rushing towards Chisora. Yeah, now, yeah, I'm looking yeah. At, <laughs> I'm looking at this other kid, but Chisora is... A, there's a beast over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, you yeah. to believe that you could tangle with him, I'm thinking, what's going on with you? No, but because he's a different type of road man, isn't it? Yeah, but he's, you can see. he's a unit, bro. No, he's you, like 6'6. Six, six, 100 said. Stacked. Eddie Hearn probably thought, should I try and sign him? <laughs> I'm telling you, there was a point where Eddie Hearn probably looked at him and thought, but he's just probably just rolled. But then the way, why I say that is different now is. The approach. Don't forget, Dillian, um, Dillian White's f- um, fight, first fight with AJ, where well, he hasn't had the second one, but everyone jumped in the ring, you know? And if you look yeah, at I the know. footage, I know. his He's... brother could have been there, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I need, to, I need to now replay that and look at that. A lot of men from Brixton. There was a the lot ring. of men jumped in the ring. Man, them that I've seen. And it wasn't even like fighters. <laughs> it was gym guns. Like. <laughs> but then when you look at AJ's entourage, because he had the Stay, the Stay Humble Light Skin Academy, <laughs> I don't know if them men are really the fighters, like, uh, but you know, I'm just saying that, but I don't know if them men are really fighters to just be like, I got your back. I'll be honest, if I was in AJ's entourage, I'd get in the ring, but I'd stay on the co- in the corner. Like, the man is singing. Yeah, because you know when you get backstage, it's just like, right, who jumped in? Who jumped in? Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you know what? what? <laughs> hey, what? You know what? You, this, is the, this, is the cool, this is the key line of someone that's not getting involved. Bro, you lot should have called me. <laughs> if you man called me. No, we called you, fam. Um, man's got the certified excuses that. So a man's tried to jump, now the security's held man back. <laughs> Couldn't even. Yeah, cool, bro. Cool. Because the, secu- the security is focused on you, yeah, um, everyone yeah. else. Oh, you okay. do that. You do that. I, I, I know the cinema, though. Sometimes you've got to throw that one chair. Because that's a good highlight. Cinema? Yeah. What chair cinema? Is the cinema that's no, loose? I'm saying the one. Ch- like, it's the cinema, like, the. Like, the the, the theatrics, the, the action. Oh, so okay. you know Pro when effect. it's going yeah, down, yeah, 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 you're like, bro, yeah. what? Chair. Mm. But you don't throw it with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You kind of you loop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it kind of like, goes up, but it's straight. At down. the end of the day, your highlight is you tried to throw a chair, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. When you tell that story back in the car, it's true. Oh yeah. my days, <laughs> fam. Did you see when I threw the chair? You didn't yeah. see us. You don't see how I moved it, fam. Lucky security guard caught it, fam. You get that next brother that lives for you for yeah. no reason. He's just like, you. brother, I see man with the chair on crowd, fam. And you're like, you almost look at him like, where you going with this? <laughs> Even Dylan, Dylan White on to Raj, you like, Raj, you see the chair though? <laughs> see that one guy that threw the chair? Yeah, he's a madman. Now I'm oh telling you, days. fights here, it's all about the cinema, bruv. Create ankles, bruv. <laughs> Cheat the ting, fam. Anyway, <laughs> we, just, yeah. we got carried away. So, so yeah, so Dilly <laughs> White's brother now. I feel like he did G-check him, bro. I feel like that's... Uh, the, he, he he spoke to him like, you know, the, it was it's one of the ones where it's like you got to look at the, the undercurrent of the way he's speaking yeah. to him. Because he kind of dapped his, like, dapped his hand a few times and said... Yeah. Yeah, cool. That's love. And then ended the convo, but then repeated himself over and over again. Just so he After understood. After a while, you gotta understand. He's just trying to drill that little that little slide message in. Like, brother, you need to behave. Yeah, that's all he's saying. Like, no, he <laughs> said, "What's good? I know you think you can be him. Obviously, you're boxer, so you can think that. But, but he told, he did say to him, "Ra, my brother could come, and he could be on his own yeah, different yeah, yeah. thing." He's like, but you didn't release the video, though. You didn't release the footage. He <laughs> didn't Bro, release the full footage. When Akoli was just like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he just accepted it. And I'm thinking to myself, Okoli is obviously understanding the subtext of but this what do you Okay, where Okoli in that situation, what do you do? No, you do exactly IFL, what Okoli did. IFL, no, you just chill, you chill the hell out. Because chill out. I don't think Okoli, with his fully trained boxing self, could even beat this brother. Because mm. that brother is massive and there's yeah, something about yeah, him that makes yeah, me think, yeah. you know something more than just road <laughs> techniques. I just like the, I like the way how he's um, Dylan White's whole crew 
mm. have developed though and they're they're not the same they're not the maturity the maturity is there do you know because i was worried i thought when dylan white sees a mm. it's game mm. it's a rap like he wasn't even meant to be at coley's fight but he came yeah he said he had some business to talk he had some stuff to discuss and that could even segue actually sorry the entourage is definitely slimmed down the entourage is slimmed down and there needs to be a talk about this, but we're, we're, there's a big part of boxing that we've left out. And I called you midweek and I said, I'm going to say some things. You just got to let me go. Yeah? The stage is yours. The stage is mine. Deontay Wilder. Bruv, I don't know where you're feeling for it. I don't know where anyone else is feeling for it. Deontay Wilder has fully lied to the public for the longest time. I don't care, like, he didn't, Deontay Wilder, I'm, now, I'm, the way I'm feeling inside, Deontay Wilder's not wanted a piece of any action, yeah? Let's do a, let's do a, let's do a, like, let's, let's do the journey of Deontay Wilder. So he hasn't been making, he's the champion, but he's, he's been an unrecognised champion in terms of, in terms of how people should see him. And he knew that, we've, we've seen that for a long time. This is before linking himself with AJ, mm. yeah? So now he says he wants to fight AJ. Says it, says it, says it. Every press conference, every news thing is about AJ to build up his brand, build up his thing, yeah? There's this magical offer for, um, there's this magical offer for 50 million that mm -hmm. comes out, yeah? Brilliant. They say that, um, they say Joshua doesn't want to take it. At that same time, Deontay Wilder's, um, and that deal was coming through Frank Warren at BT. They're the behind the scenes on that deal. Shelley Frank Finkel. Warren is, and Shelly, it's, it's mental. There's a lot of hands in Wilder's yes, pocket. Yes, in mad. Wilder's pocket, but that doesn't make any sense. Then you actually see, then you deep and you think, then Fury steps in and they undercut Joshua. And it's like, look how easy it is to make a fight. That was the line. Yeah. We came together, it's simple. Um, these fights are not hard to make. Deontay Wilder's fighting Fury. Remember, Fury's recovering from the, the drug binge, the weight, the weight gain, depression, he, depression, everything. Deontay Wilder, in his mind, knows I can beat this guy. And while I'm gonna beat this guy, I'm gonna keep trashing Joshua. To people now thinking Joshua's scared. This is the this was the game. This okay. was the play. Yeah, I'm with you. Now, you get through that fight. You, you, me, and you both see it different. But you get through that fight with someone that shouldn't, if you're the most dangerous man in the world, Fury doesn't have a chance. Really and truly, let's like really like, that Fury shouldn't have done, Wilder should have taken him out four or five, four or five, if, if we, this is the Wilder that we're all expecting him to be, mm. yeah? Cause mm -hmm. Fury shouldn't be in that shape or that quick or that slick to be avoiding those punches, yeah? But somehow Fury outboxes him, yeah? His corner crew, remember this, his corner crew, they celebrate for the draw. Tells me a lot. Tells me a lot. Then they start asking questions, when's the rematch? Now all of a sudden the rematch is hard to do. The rematch, we can't get the rematch. This, this does the, come down to Fury as well. Okay, I, I, you can say that. No, yeah. he signed a deal with he ESPN to go very and fight Tom the same deal that was The same deal that's been offered to Deontay Wilder, very important. The same deal that's being offered to Deontay Wilder because they were like, look, you come and sign with ESPN, we'll get this fight on again. Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Fury has done wrong with the fight that he's fight. I don't even know the fight. Tom fighter. Schwartz? I don't know him. That could be Tommy Hilfiger for all I <laughs> care, big man. But let's keep that there. Yeah, all right, fine. Yeah? Deontay Wilder, the number one person that he's supposed to fight for his belt is supposed to be our boy Dylan. That's who he's supposed to be fighting. Yeah, there was supposed to be a, even a two fight deal. Fight, um, fight Dylan, then you get AJ. No, it was Brazil. The Dazon, the Dazon deal that he turned out. No, oh, we're gonna get to that. Oh. We're not even there yet. Okay, Yeah. Cool. So the number one contender, yeah, Dylan White is the number one contender for um, John T. Wilder's belt. He is, yeah. Brazil is like number three or four in the rankings. Yeah, it's guaranteed. This is not, this is not even. There was even letters. You know, they they were trying to force them to get this fight on. Remember when AJ when they were, when they were communicating or they're trying to negotiate? Mm. Yeah, they they. Th this is why there was um. They said to did that. There was like way. There's there's so much going on. Dylan White thought, you know what? Just to keep things going, I'm gonna fight Chisora. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he's yeah, number right. one contender. 
And then, then, then they said, you know what? The only way that we're going to sort this out now is if there's going to be an eliminator with Brazil. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And that person fights. Yeah. Um, Wilder. Wilder. Wilder now. He gets offered a deal by ESPN. He gets offered a deal by The Zone. You you know the deal of The Zone. And mm. that we, we've heard it's 100 million, but it's rumored to be more. It's like, tw- it's like 15, 20 mil to fight Brazil. Yep. And then 40 to fight 40, AJ. 40, yeah. Both times. And also, it doesn't matter if he loses. It's guaranteed. It was guaranteed, yeah. Guaranteed. Yep. This man, yeah, turn that deal down. Turn down the ESPN deal, yeah? And is now fighting Dominic Brazil. <laughs> yeah. Not even pay-per-view. On regular TV. On regular TV. So what what would you reckon they're going to make for that fight? It's regular TV, by the Two way. Two mil. Two, three mil. So now, now tell me that this guy is serious about trying to unify. This guy ever wanted this fight. I can't say that at all. You can't. I can't say that at all. 20 mi- he was going to get the same 20 million. He's going to get the same Walmart fight on the zone. Plus 40 million. I think, I think he's... Twice. Sh- I think he's shit scared of Anthony Joshua. It has to be. Yeah. I've been he- before, not before I thought... I believed the hype. I believed the conversations. Yeah. I thought the interviews were nonsense. I thought Eddie Hearn was gassing. Yeah. Because he speaks to IFL yeah, very yeah. regularly. Too much. So now I'm just like, okay, you're well, getting kind of comfortable with speaking. I like the interviews though. Shout out Eddie Yeah, because I need to know what's going on. Yeah, you know he what really does provide yeah, yeah, insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> now I'm looking at Wilder and Fury. You lot are both dickheads. The only real one in this whole situation, in this whole Let's equation. Let's not dickheads because they could f- finish us. <laughs> I don't mean dickheads, dickheads like, like I'm like, gonna do dickheads something. Dickheads, we're upset dickheads, that I'm you're not giving dickheads. us the fight that we want. No, I'm saying dickheads because it's like don't don't chat the chat if you're not about that life. Yeah. Tyson Fury made it seem like oh money's not important. Man said oh I've made enough money. I'll give away all my money for the Wilder fight. That's the kind of language that he's using. Yeah. And then you go and sign an eight million deal and yeah. put yourself in a little corner where you're fighting Tom Schwartz. We're not even gonna talk about Tom, Tom. Schwartz. <laughs> I I will never say that name after this fight. <laughs> And I'm, I'm really annoyed that I have to say it now. Tom, Sh- Tom Schwartz ain't done nothing in the boxing world. F- bruv, they're even promoting this talking about Tyson Fury's back. Back? Big man, you just had a fight. You're not back from nothing. You was here. All right. And so, then, so, so, so I'm like, no, Tyson Fury. And go to Wilder, that's please. That's the whole as well. Very Wilder cool. is the dumbest boxer I think I've ever seen okay. in my life. To yeah. turn down that much money, yeah. watch him lose to Brazil. No, you can't. Watch him lose to Brazil. You ain't lose. No, I'm telling you, what's up? <laughs> listen, he won't. He won't. there's a weird feeling about that fight. No, Watch him lose to Brazil. I, I felt what you're feeling. Fam, I'm but telling he won't. you, he something won't. is not, not right. allowed to. I'm looking at this fight now. He's I'm not allowed to. The way you got exposed fighting Tyson Fury for being technically inept, yeah. brother, if Dominic Brazil comes in and fights this fight, <laughs> I just have a feeling he, no, he that he could lose this fight. Dominic Brazil, the same guy that got whacked. And don't get me wrong. Dominic Brazil has come a long I way. I think he lasted from, like seven rounds with no, AJ. No, but he's he's but come was, a long way. He's he's fought a lot of fights and he's he's won a lot. His way of, back he's, up. he's worked his way back into the conversation. Right. Yeah, but it's like, you know, Dominic Brazil's background. You know, he was actually uh, like a I think an NFL player or something like that. Oh, that's random. Yeah, yeah, random. He like he's not a pure boxer. He sees he's he's, he's um, learned a new like he's. You he's, know what? I'm not even interested in any more random <laughs> trivia about Dominic Brazil. <laughs> Safe though. But wait, wait, so no, thank you. I thought I'd just let <laughs> yeah, you know. No, say, but it's incredible because if that guy if beats, he beats it, bro. No, but it's impossible. The box let's div- get back to but this. But also, here's something that we need to look mm-hmm. at. If Tom Schwartz, through some random act He's not of God, do it. decides to beat Fury, does yeah. that make him the lineal champ? No, no, no. The lineal No, 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 no. I want to... No, 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 no. Shorts, Forget about this thing. Let's go back to Deontay Wilder. Wilder said one face, one name. Yeah? All of the belts. Mm. Yeah? Mm. He's been spitting that bar for the longest time. So much, so long that I believed him. Yeah, same. Do you know what I mean? And and he actually made me look at Anthony Joshua funny. I'm not going to lie. Same. Was for a while, wrong, like, I was looking at AJ the, like... The propaganda was amazing. It's like, they said that this fight is not hard to make. Now, the two people that got along so easy can't fight each other. Why can't Fury and um, Wilder fight? They're why both... can't Why can't one face one name? Now, the zone has stepped in and Eddie Hearn has stepped out. Yeah? And he's got other people to negotiate. Do you know East. what? I just I look at the I look at it now and I'm just like, you know what? The heavyweight division dropped the ball. Because going into this year, yeah. nothing but excitement. Who was excited? 
nothing but excitement. It's just the three top heavyweights and they all want to fight each other. You know, it was perfect. Now I'm looking at it like, I just feel sorry for Dillian White. Bruv, because, yeah, yeah. Dillian White wants these fights. He's, he's, Dillian White but is desperate for a fight. Same time, he has to hold some corn too, because I'm just like, big man, you got offered AJ for six mil and you was looking at it sideways. And I'm just like, hmm. I've even seen, and this is the thing, because Dillian White's trying to sign a major fight deal. You can, you can hear Dillian White's not happy. Dillian White you is, watch his, is you not watch happy all his, at all. You watch all his interviews and, I, I can almost see where he's struggling in a sense. It's like, I can't walk away from Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn does puts on a lot of fights. A lot of stuff is happening through Eddie Hearn. Do I want to burn this bridge? No. To go and, I, it's a stupid bridge to burn. There's no promoter that you need to be with other than Eddie Hearn right, right now. Right now, this yeah. is what I'm saying. Why, why, do, why do I burn? And then if I go to ESPN, I'm just going to be un, like, underneath. Tyson Fury mm. yeah unless I unless they give me Tyson unless they feed me Tyson Fury but I heard Dylan White say him and Tyson Fury have had no communication to do a fight there's been nothing like not even a what do you think of you know what I mean so that shows he and he said he's spoken to he's spoken to everyone in but America. you know there's a there's a bit of an X factor in the heavyweight division right now because Klitschko's been rumored to come back Woo! bro Klitschko's looking to come back. But he said he's going to take it easy. He's not going to go straight into like... No, he ain't going to fight none of the big boys straight I away. Think, but yeah, I see Dylan White fight. There's, if, Dylan White wants fight. A, if Dylan White wants a fight, it's Klitschko. Because he think, Klitschko might, would probably... I just would, think, you, would he fight him? I think Klitschko needs to allow it, bro. Well, Shannon's going to come back. Yeah, see, let's get to that in a second. But I think Klitschko needs to allow it. Because like, I'm looking at Klitschko, I'm thinking... Two, you, was part, you was on your way out. At the right time, this mm-hmm. that was the last, you know, that throwback fight where it's like, yeah. you know what, I'm gonna throw it all out there, one last, one last dance, and then like you're gonna come back after two, three years, two, three years since that fight. Yeah, you can come back. Nah, bro. Do you know why I say you can come back? Why? Because Tyson Fury did. Bro, Tyson Fury's not that old. No, Tyson Fury. Yeah, in terms of what he did to his body. Yeah. He ate no, himself. No, 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 no. It's not the same. You had to give them, yeah, bro. Bro, a, 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 a drug. A drug binge? An alcohol binge? How old is Klitschko? Klitschko's only 43. He's 43, right? Bro, Shannon's coming back. Shannon Briggs. <laughs> Shannon is coming. Shannon's got the gray beard. So yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Let's champ. go, champ. Yo, yeah. I like Shannon Briggs. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. Wait, wait. Shannon Briggs has the most knockout. I think he's got the, the has the record for most first round knockouts. Yeah. So in his old he's age, right, all, yeah, I can, all I can vouch for is that he's still dangerous in the first round. Yeah. After that, <laughs> get him, put him in the bin, bruv. Wait, so anyway, let's go to Dr. Death, yeah? You have to understand that. Klitschko, Dr. Death? Yeah, Dr. 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 Steelhammer or Sledgehammer or something like that. Dr. Death, bro. You just gave me your yeah, nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the shoulders, bro. He just, he reminds, when I see him, I think Ivan Drago. That's if he dies, he dies. That's not his official that's why nickname. I, to, I see Dr. Death, fam. Who's if Dr. Death, dies, bro? No, because he's killing guys, so in my made, mind. You made, is it? Yeah. That's what he's doing. I named my fighters. With that jab, just no right hands, just pure jabs. And the jab is powerful. Okay, the cool. Lennox, the Lennox jab. Lennox Lewis had a powerful jab. Continue. All right, story. cool. Say that. Thank you. <laughs> um, the night in Dusseldorf, yeah, mm. when Tyson Fury was singing to his wife out of tune in oh, yeah. Germany. You think that's not going to make me come back? The same guy that dressed up as Batman, lost weight, fought Wilder. You think I'm not coming back? I'm coming back. Because I need to be, forget AJ, forget everyone else, I need to fight that guy. I don't think he wants to fight Fury again. Oh, he needs to fight Fury. No, nah, he doesn't. He Why doesn't. not? He doesn't, man. Do you see what Fury did? Fury is not In the fight. In his garden. Fury is not the fight that I would go for if I was Klitschko. We've seen Rocky. We, Bro, wait, 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 listen. I'll We've seen Rocky. No, no, no. We're, we're going to go down this We're going to go down this road. We've seen Rocky. You know when Rocky goes to Moscow? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And Rocky turns up everyone's booing at the beginning. The speech. The, the speech. The speech. <laughs> Tyson Fury done the big boy speech and started singing to his woman in big Germany. They didn't want to see that. Bro, what I tell he you? He let yeah. down so many people, fam. So that guy is saying to himself, if this guy's back, I'm fighting. Klitschko wants no part of Fury. You know no, why? he does, because he wanted why? the rematch and then Thingy Paul and yeah, then Fury, Fury moved away. Fury moved away. The so reason he's why wanted I say that he rematch. doesn't want that fight is because the style that Fury fights, the agile foot, the, all that stuff, it will just have the same effect on Klitschko again. He can't operate against Not that style. Not if we see the Fury that fought against AJ. The Klitschko I would love AJ. to see that. Yeah, that Klitschko that fought AJ. It, he'd go for it, but I, still, I just still think like that's just an uncomfortable fight for him. I don't think he would want that fight again. 
so just throw let's play around Klitschko versus Deontay Wilder who wins I feel like Klitschko wins that fight <sighs> alright you, know, you know why Klitsch, wait 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 I'm gonna keep playing let's, play, let's, just, just, let's keep playing because it's a good game for me Klitschko versus Dylan. I think Dillian um, Klitschko versus AJ well no let's forget that Klitschko versus there's one more person Fury I think Fury beats him oh so, so you just don't respect Wada N- no <laughs> no because I think Klitschko is, is more consistent defensively okay so he can he will stay away from that right hand yeah and he'll do enough to win on points throughout the whole he'll get to okay, 12 rounds cool, cool I see what you did that's I see what, what you mean. okay yeah. brilliant I thought you just had no respect for Wada now no, 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 no. I just think Wilder definitely is going to throw that same punch over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm like, I don't want to see that. I'm tired, man. I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed. The heavyweight division, you've let me down. Wilder, you spoke the talk. You talk the talk. But you, you fully know, let j- me down. But you know, there's another, there's another story to this, right? You see, Fury. Mm-hmm. I think the issue with him, he's not comfortable fighting as the champ. Or someone who's expected to win. He needs to be the underdog to bring out the best of himself. And that's why they're saying so the think, fight against I my think, man. I think he self-sabotages. Yeah. Because when he beat um, Klitschko, yeah. he, re- he went off the rails. Yeah. Right? He's beat, he, in a lot of eyes of a lot of people, he beat Wilder. Like, he's in a good position now yeah. to go into a fight as someone who, you know, bigger profile. I don't feel, I, for some reason, I just feel like he shies away from those moments. I feel like he, he doesn't didn't. have the mental fortitude to keep it going. At the top, he couldn't do what AJ's doing. That's why when people yeah, start to stay winning, me, to stay winning, that, he can't do what AJ's doing. I'm, do you know? I'm never, and I've never looked at. You actually got a point there yeah, because I've never looked at it like that. And then if you movie. think how he, you think the demise of him when he, when the world was at his feet. So I'm saying, literally, look like how everything smoothly was, AJ handled the the transition from prospect to champ. It was like hand and glove. He was ready to go. He beat Charles Martin, had the belt. He wasn't really the champ till mm-hmm. he beat Klitschko. Beat Klitschko. Then all of a sudden, AJ turned into a whole different fighter because yeah. he now was a champ. Mm-hmm. Tyson Fury's not had that moment where he's like, he's the champ and he goes in and does what he's supposed to do. He needs to be the one that's not expected to win. Wow. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> yeah, hey. yeah. I'm not going to lie. You got me because <laughs> I'm like, that's... You can't argue. No. That one day, you can't argue with me. Like, I, even if I try to play devil's advocate, then <laughs> I can't. The devil cannot advocate. <laughs> Yo, did you um, did you see that video of um, Pulev with that news reporter? I ain't seen it, but please show me. Let please. me get this clip for you right now, it. bruv. Because this is... Uh, it's mad. So... Oh. <laughs> Wait, I can just see a gram. They're talking. What's having a little interview after the fight, you know. Very good prepared. <laughs> I love how the eye is fully bleeding, but he's just not even mm. wiping it or touching it. Yeah. That's just That cut is m- all over the side of his face, and he says it's a good job. I've never seen this, so I need. I just. So if Tyson Fury gets through Tom Schwartz, do you think you should have a shot? Yes. Oh! <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> How's about a little interview with a kiss on the lips like that, fam? <laughs> wait, because there's a moment when he said, "You want to kiss me?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. There's a moment. No, 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 no. You, wait, you have to look. That, you have to watch that back. Yeah, he I'm not going to watch it back now. But there's a moment when he looked at and said, because she said <laughs> she spoke about fighting Tyson Fury, <laughs> and he said, "No, <laughs> forget you about want, the lineal champion. You want this? <laughs> you want to kiss me? Because clearly, with you calling out Tyson Fury, clearly means that you're on kissing." <laughs> Yeah. So wait, 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 wait. This correlation is but wait, nuts. Hold on. In the video, I'm being silly here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just gotta do that because you know, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very serious, isn't hold it? On, right now, that was a in it. Yeah. 
but her lips are pit pursed a lot. Like it's like she, it's, I don't know. If she's giving him the sign. Like her lips, she's making duck lips. She didn't give him the sign. Bro, at one she's point. making she said, duck lips. Sam, she's brother, talking. She's like, she said, if, why is she looking at the camera? Tyson Fury she's making gets duck through. lips. He goes, if Tyson Fury bro, gets through Tom Schwartz, bro, the, it, how can you do an interview <laughs> and you make duck lips? Bro. What selfie is she taking? Fam, I'm concerned. Listen, are you like me? Just don't update when your phone tells you nah. to update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Go on, go before it. <laughs> Wait, Thank hold on. Look, look, duck lips. No, 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 no. No, wait, I'm gonna show you. Get I'm gonna show you. Wait, 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 wait. He goes, so he goes. Look, absolutely. Look, selfie, selfie at, at 30, at, no, no, no. at 34 seconds. Look, why is she looking in the camera? Who does that? In the interview, Fam, just imagine I'm talking to you. Wait, hold on. Poor. This is what she does. This is what she does. I'm talking to you, talking to you, then I go. So, Tyson Fury. Da, 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 da. I'm not rolling, fam. All I know. One or two things is happening here. Yeah, they've they've been dealing with each other off cam for a minute, because that comfortability. He got them by the back of the neck though. I, I don't like when people do yeah, that. Yeah, it was it's, like it's, going nowhere. Bro, imagine that was your girl and she's at work doing her thing and you're sitting there watching and there's big poo left there and he just lips up like that. What's your reaction? Hit and run. Hit and, hit and run. Night. I'm doing a shug night. You're hitting him and running. Hit and run. My car. Wait for him to oh, get out there. Oh, car I'm shug night in the situation. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I'm and the reverse as well. You know, should that reverse as well? Do you know what kind of demon Bloody it takes? Hell. I'm doing that. I'm doing the hit and run. That's mad intensity, bro. I'm driving this way and I'm playing in reverse. No, nah, but that that kiss was hella inappropriate. No, so wait, is that assault then? Of course, it's assault. Is that sexual assault? I think they've both come out afterwards and said, like, you know, we, ha you know, it's nothing to be, nothing major happening here. He goes, it's nothing too deep. Like, he just, his little statement was just like, you know, I know her, we're cool, and da 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 da. Did she know him? Yeah, it seems, seems they What did she say? What did she say? What was her, her what I was her? I haven't seen the official. Apparently she's suing. She's suing? Apparently. After she can't even, um, oh, see? She don't need an attorney. That is a cutting. What's them cases that you say? You know that. O open shut case, Johnson. That's open. Yeah, that's an open shut case, Johnson. No, that's mad. That's mad. <laughs> that case is everything is there. Yeah, the evidence is fully there. <laughs> Listen, he kissed her, but you never know. He kissed her on the mouth. You never know though. She might get up. Nah, that, that this see, see this language is. This, <laughs> she like she likes it, bro. That's bro. Look at when we look at this I'm video. Just, the pout. What who pouts? Listen, who pouts in the interview? I'm not rolling with this perspective. I know That's it's mad. toxic. It it's sounds toxic. It's mad. This perspective is this exactly oh, the behind oh, the finished. huh? Finished. She had Gloria Ulrich. Gloria, is that the one that got Jesse Smollett? No, Gloria is the one who dealt with the Bill Cosby case. Oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's over. <laughs> oh, that's Pulev's last fight. Pulev, Pulev. So, the, Fury, the Fury fight isn't wait. coming, bro. Wait, Tom wait. Schwartz is that's wait, that's wait, it's not happening. Wait, so should we do the um? Should we do the um? Give Pulev the the girl. Did the girl? You know when saying congratulations, boxing was good, good. You know the oh, retirement. Oh yeah, no, for real. Um, <laughs> let's you know signing off on a wonderful career. You know he's had a good showing against Huey Fury not too long ago. And uh, I'm confident enough to say that probably is the best it's gonna get <laughs> for Pulev. I think he's the Bulgarian sensation. <laughs> I believe he's Bulgarian. If he's not, Hungary, I don't wait, know. Wait, 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 wait. Pulev is mad, you know, because in this generation, where this is, things are this nuts. This is a, the. Me yeah, the Me Too in era. In the Me Too era. You wanted to, to lips her. To grab her by you, the back of her the head. The back of her head. And, and you were a heavyweight. And, look, <laughs> and the front. He went. Mwah. Like, there was no escaping. She had no choice in that. And she looks like an easy bantam weight. Let's, <laughs> she looks like a bantam one weight. One hell of a catch weight belt. <laughs> The <laughs> no border section in that. This is wait. We're making jokes. Listen, we're, not, you know, we're making jokes. We're making jokes. Obviously, she, jokes about if she's like, gonna sexual. Sue, what if she's gonna it? sue? Then jokes then about sexual. Um, they're not funny. Are not funny, but we're here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a bad line. Yeah, but but, but this is where we found ourselves, and we're trying to reverse out of this situation. But no, no. I think it's still in drive. We're still. <laughs>
Yeah. We're still going forward. Can we just no? Because um, wait, because Brexit, to... <laughs> Brexit's happening. Brexit. Oh damn! <laughs> That's what they should have said to him. That's what they should have said to him. Oh damn! Oh damn! Nay! Oh damn! That's what they should have said to Pulev, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know if that's like if you're a manager and that's your guy. As soon as he leaves it for the kiss, you got to come in like that, you know. <laughs> like, whoops. Whoa, whoa, oh, duh. That's mad. <laughs> wait, wait. P. Levitt. Yeah, nah, your, your, your career is on the ropes. <laughs> it's over. The referee because thinking about stopping unless it. Unless the only way you can Pulev can get out this if he hires the Jussie Smollett attorney, fam. He's safe. It's all sorted. Pulev, I'm talking down the camera to you right now. All charges will be dropped. Before you do anything you do, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and like <laughs> just so you can watch us from <laughs> HMP <laughs> make sure you do that but very important whoever's looking after Jussie Smollett that's who you need because Bill Cosby he's still surprised he can't no Bill Cosby doesn't <laughs> he never saw that coming he did not see jail coming Bill Cosby mm -mm. come on <laughs> no feel of his mad <laughs> it's mad it's mad um, um, yeah let's yeah, move on so um, one thing we wanted to talk about though because um, there's obviously there's, there's two routes in boxing there's two routes in boxing so you got prospects yeah climbing the ranks mm -hmm. trying to be champs yeah do great things go yeah. for glory on the other side of boxing you've got journeymen yeah journeymen who They've got no interest in winning mm -hmm. bouts. They literally come to be the fodder for the rising prospects. Yeah. And like, I was looking at it, I was thinking about this stuff and I was like, that must be one hell of a life. So but, now, like I read it. Do, go so now, um, cause you, you raised this, we done in our like pre-production. Mm. Yeah. You, you spoke about this and I thought, you don't decide to become a journeyman. It happens. After like, let's say, a series of things not going your way, yeah. in a sense, yeah. like everyone sit, sits at home and says, "Well, I like to believe everyone sits at home and says, I want to be champion." You know, like I'm gonna be a champion. Then you have that fight. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go your way, but you get paid. That's right. That's right. And you're that, like, you know what? It's a weird journey. Yeah, exactly. Because now you're like security. Yeah, I can I can help. And there's sometimes you're the person that helps prepare because. There's people that spar that we'll never see. There's journeyman that are inspiring, that are helping our mm. our fighters get ready for the big fights. It's like I was looking at this guy. I read this article, right, in the Telegraph. It's yeah. quite an old article, but I remember reading it years ago. I've looked for it again. It's a guy called Johnny Greaves, right? Yeah. Now, this guy wrapped up a 100-fight record, of which he only won four. Oh. Four fights, bruv. <laughs> so he started out his career, right? And he lost all 10 fights in a row to kick it off. And then he... Well, that's what I'm saying. That's so what I'm saying. And in, in the beginning, yeah, he, he wanted to be the champion. Yeah. And then he lost 10 lost fights. Mad fights. Cool. And then it was just like, okay, cool. So now the man are calling him for a fight. And he, had, he actually had a fight. And the 11th fight knocked out this dude. Knocked him out. And then he, he was saying, he goes, rah, nobody was phoning me. My phone stopped ringing. Oh. So straight away, now he's looking at it like, well, I've seen the value in losing. So these men come out. And the thing is that it's actually a skill that people don't really... I guess you would never think of but it's actually a skill to be in there with an opponent who's a live wire who's come to knock your head off yeah survive for four or five rounds but at the same time you're you're keeping it competitive because you're not you're not really trying to hurt him yeah but you're doing enough to keep him looking good and trying to learn new stuff so it's almost like you're in there to teach him something it's like I don't like that it's though. like sparring that isn't sparring I don't like that though. I don't like it at all I don't like it because of we we're conditioned to want to see victories yeah and we want to know that everybody who competes wants to win right yeah but these guys they're on the, the other side of boxing where the prospects for them they don't have prospects they're not going to go and be fighting for world titles one day so they get to make a living by giving these guys a nice work isn't that it feels like cheating though huh it feels like cheating it's, you know what are you, are you taking like, like it's like taking a good dive like I don't understand what that is right. when, when, when what, prospect, we, what are we saying now remember then? when AJ first started yeah yeah the first 10 fights he had mm -hmm. I guarantee we won't see those, those guys again but they got to be paid well be on a, a pay per view boxing night share a ring with a future world champ obviously they took some licks but for them that's a win do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if, if that man doesn't But I'm have... trying to have the psyche of the man that's been beaten 
like uh, he's had a hundred fights and he's lost. He's, yeah, he's only fix- won four. Right. How do you feel? Like, what is your mindset? Like, how do you talk? Do you but, tell people you you can't tell someone you're a fighter because you're then, not fighting? But then he's feeding his family. No, there's no honor in it. I'm I, sorry. There's no, no, no. no. I, hear, I hear what you're no, saying. But like, no. put this way. Are right, you not so let's trying look at like this? Let's then look at then like this. Let's why look at can't like you... Okay, let's let's let's, let's, let's say it. Let's say these men yeah. have been trying, bro. Yeah. They've been trying. Okay. They are not good enough. They're not made for this world. Yeah. Right? They could either be kicked out and, and we can... Like, we literally just have to narrow it down and prospects only fight prospects and the whole thing is just literally big name, big name, big... It's not going to happen. It's not realistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I understand. So, this way round, these men, they get to they get to stay active. They get to do what they want to do. What they get to do what they love doing or whatever. Yeah. But you know, they get there's to make no, some money. I, I don't feel there's any. I don't feel like there's honor in it. I don't. I don't like that. Do you because you know who someone I thought was a journeyman, and this is what I was thinking. Because sometimes someone is a journeyman, and he just hasn't had the he hasn't had the right things set up for him. Who? Chisora. He used to be the gatekeeper. I don't, I don't think it's fair to say. He used say... to be the gatekeeper. I'll call him the gatekeeper because he's never been the main man. He, he's never been the main guy. You mm. fight Chizora if you're trying to be someone great. You beat Chizora and you're on the way. He even sees himself as the gatekeeper. You fight me and your career goes. So he knows that's the role he plays. Now the gatekeeper is saying, you know what? I can be more than a gatekeeper. Hence why he's added hay to his um, corner. He's added, um, is it who's so, is it called World? Well, yeah. Caldwell's now joined him as well. It, it's insane what he the the he wants the, it. He's the, up for it. What uh, he's doing. He mixes. He's he's a he's what you call a fringe world. A fringe, like fringe level yeah. fighter. He's he mixes just on the edge of where the top guys are. Yeah. He doesn't. He's he's just not that guy. He hasn't been but able to get he's there. He's looking he's better shots. and better now. Though. He's looking better and better. But I would never consider him a journeyman. So what would you call him then? It's a gatekeeper. I, w- I don't feel like gatekeepers and journeymen Gate, are the same. Okay, okay. Journeymen cool. I'm talking about are the, the guys that first 15 fights of the young star's career. Those guys, even even further along that, just before he hits that world level. No, because they started... Because these guys I see it a bit different because they wanted to put um, Joe Joyce in with Chisora. This is what I'm saying. They was ready. Yeah, they, look, no, that's they because could... they're trying to fast track Joe Joyce's career. It's not that Chisora's coming down. So ain't you just a journeyman? If they if they say put Joe Joyce in there with him, well they're calling and, him and out. I, I they remember they could, when they G- I remember they had that they had that negotiation in the hallway. I watched it, it was on IFL. Yeah, where they're talking about this fight. Oh, they shook and on it. it was, they? they shook on it. The money wasn't great. It it wasn't a massive fight. He said, yeah, we'll do this. They literally in the hallway. They done the fight. They agreed the fight. They agreed all the terms. Yeah, but that was... And that showed me the kind of fighter that he said, listen, if you don't give me the right amount, and it wasn't a lot. I'm saying it was like, it wasn't he was a lot of money. It. And he was up for it. And I said, okay, so you're... Je- to me, that's mm. a journey, man. Yeah, you know, you, you might have to, a point. You might have a case Joe for that. Joyce, this mm. is what, look at the fight Joe Joyce fought the other day. Mm. And they tried to make that his next fight. And that was like three or four fights, three fights ago. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? So, but now Chisora is, something's clicked into gear where he said to himself, I can compete with these guys. I'm meant to be at this. I, I, I've never taken it serious enough. Cause that's why I feel some journeymen are just people that have never taken it as serious as they need to. Dylan White could have become a journeyman. I, I However, his the mindset basis. said, he said, uh, when he got knocked out, to, when he took the knockout from AJ, he said to himself, "I need to take this serious. There's I, something here for me." I disagree on the fact that not everybody has what it takes to be a special fighter. Okay, and it's not just about the hours in the gym. There's that there, some guys work hard to be great, and mm-hmm. some guys have that special something about them that they just need to harness. Mm-hmm. Like obviously, hard everybody needs to hard work is required for everyone, mm-hmm. but some fighters are just naturally gifted fighters. You mm-hmm. can't just train up to that. And I don't think journeymen become journeymen because they didn't train. Some men are just not built for this level. Some guys just have a weak chin. They get knocked out. There's nothing but they can do about that. But this is what I'm talking... Okay, cool. Well, they, cut they cut easily. Like, there's so many... Like, there's there's a few fighters who've got, like, real mad eye ridges and they get cut mad easy and it just, just messes up their careers. Yeah, I, I understand those ones. But I'm talking about, like... Because when you brought up this topic, yeah, the first person that came to me was Chisora, mm. yeah? And he's someone that is very... Look, look at his chin, an amazing chin. We haven't seen him really take that kind of devast... The knockout they took against Dylan White was devastating. Mm. It was... We've never, like... And when I look at back at the first fight that they two had, I yeah. thought he actually... 
I want to say I thought I thought Chisora, Chisora was going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah same, yeah. same. Yeah. But like, look at this. Look at this. Like the way these guys live, right? And the reason why I kind of feel a bit more sympathy, right? So this guy grieves. He said one of his fights, he, he took a fight an hour and a quarter before it was due to start. Wow. Man was like, "You're cool." Somebody pulled out. The promoter says, "Yo, you want to fight?" Man went home, got his things, come back, and he's scrapping. Got there ten minutes before the fight was due to start. Went in there. Doesn't know nothing about the opponent. Thing. Yeah. Now these guys, right? Let's be real. They're not built to get better and start winning the okay, family ranks. I hear what you're saying. They get to make a living this way. Yeah. Now I look at boxing as one of those things where it's like, it's it caters to people who tend to not have many options. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with guys who they won't be able to go to the top level and succeed, but they're not really they're good enough to not get too damaged and they can keep coming back, make a living, making making an earning. I don't have a problem with that. It's dangerous. And I'm not really a fan of people getting hurt for the sake of it, but yeah, they get to make a you're living. Putting yourself, you're putting yourself in harm's way. Do you know, I, 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 I don't see it from that side. And I don't think I can because it's when I look at boxing, it's, it's a pure... For me, it's, it's pure in that. It's like, I want to see two people compete. And that's why I have the... Pro, that's why I have to have the biggest issue with the heavyweight division now. Mm. Because all these amazing fighters don't want to compete. That, I can't understand that. I can't understand the, the easy route. Mm. It's it's not. I'm not cut from that type of cloth. Where and I'm not. I'm not a fighter. Do you see what I'm saying? But I can't understand when you you there's one road for you, and everything's here for you. Yeah, but you yeah, tell yeah. yourself, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. I I would never be able to understand that. It's <laughs> it's like because I was having a conversation with my dad the other day. Yeah. And sometimes when we we have these conversations about how boxers today are more like businessmen. I feel the sympathy because I know boxers of the old days, a lot of these men got robbed financially. Yeah. Didn't really know what was going on. And my dad was saying, he goes, yeah, that's just the case for some guys. But some guys just had bad money management. Yeah. They made a whole lot of money and squandered it. Yeah. So it's not that everybody just got robbed blind. Okay. They just had, so then it's like, you look at the face of boxing now and it's like, I don't have the same sympathy because their men are making big money. Yeah. You look after yourself properly, you're going to be fine. It's not like you're, you're, do you know what I mean? Like that, I feel like that story doesn't, just to vindicate a lot of this businessman behavior that we're seeing today. Do you know, and you brought us nicely yeah. into our next topic. Yeah, because we're talking about money mm-hmm. and squandering money. Floyd Mayweather, we recorded this, we done this podcast um, the last time we filmed, last time we recorded, we finished the podcast and we got into the maddest argument. Yeah? Discussion. We, we debate. Debate, discussion, it was nuts, yeah? <laughs> so we got, like, man like Obs, we got Prejules, and we got Camera Kev. They're behind the camera, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like... Gonna... No, he's Obs. Yeah, that's, Obs. that's your no, nickname, No, 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 he's Obs. Obs. Listen, the reason why, yeah... <laughs> Camera like, Kev, Prejules, and Obs. Camera Kev, so behind us, like, the team is Obs, <laughs> yeah, Camera Kev, and Prejules. The re- no, you can't reject it. You can't it. reject it. The reason why, yeah. <laughs> Tell them why. No, this, no, no. Tell this, them why we call him Obs. The reason why. <laughs> no, the reason no. why we call you Obs, yeah, is because you do some Let's, wayward things. Wayward. Like, we, all right, little, we buy snacks, yeah, when we come in. Everybody gets snacks. We, we rotate who buys snacks. So, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> why is he saying no one's getting snacks? Bro, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Let, me, talk. let me explain. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's so, talk. We're recording. We have a bit of a. <laughs> no, we, we need to come with them snacks. Let, they let just me need explain. to be different ones. Let me explain to the listeners. Let's explain to the listeners. We have a process here. The first person that bought snacks, I can't remember who it was, but they kind of set the level quite high. They yeah. bought the juice, the yeah. Pringles, the barbecue flavor. There was other little yeah, chocolate snacks. Camera Kev. Camera Kev, yeah. Camera yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Squashies it was, as well. It, it was a great balance of snacks. It was a great snacks. balance. So and now it made Ops, me say, it made me say, because I had a week, but then I, 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 it was, I didn't go as crazy as Ob's did. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I had a week when you I tried, tried to, to be do healthy. the you healthy, healthy thing. I tried to come with the fruit. Grapes. Grapes. You know, the only thing where I went a bit, um, when I went, no, nah, I didn't hummus. do the camera. The hummus. You did hummus. <laughs> you did. But you brought that home. But then no one yeah, touched yeah, it. Yeah, no one touched the hummus. But then I came with the brioche. The brioche, you know, like yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. cool, pan of chocolates. I, I tried a little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? You tried to cool. bring the sauce. Your week, you did yeah. your thing. Go, did, go yeah, through. I came through with the, with the I, I tried to follow camera Kev. I yeah, came with yeah, the same yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah. Pringles, juice, it was there. Hold on. So then, to Ops. so then Ops comes in no, now. No, no, Jules does his no, thing. Jules does his thing. Yeah, that's Squashies, right. everything's yeah, there. The everything, name brand, name brand chocolate. I think Flips, 
Was it flips? Did that come he, in as well? Oh. Flips? No, he done the flips. Remember, that's okay. Ops. That's it, something okay. that Ops okay. can okay. do. No, no, that's no, something no, Ops no, can no, do. Wait, no, wait. What? Do Bro, this is us. Okay, this I'm is, sorry. I'm sorry. This is, I'm sorry. This is undefeated, fam. We'll okay. stay undefeated because this is a okay. defeat for you, fam. Cool. Let's, let's this do this. This is your L. Let's do this. This is your L. Come on. Let's get to it. Go on. So, Ops comes in now. <laughs> he gets Pringles, right? But these Pringles, they looks like, oh, maybe you picked up the wrong ones. Yeah. Cause I'm seeing tandoori pilau <laughs> pilau rice Pringles. Yeah, and it's the green one. I've never seen. No, it was the. I've never he, seen that before. And then we said, we said, we, were we like, said, what are you doing? We said, let's get back to hold barbecue. Hold on. What? Wait, to this one that you picked up, yeah? Cause it looks like I get it was an honest mistake. Cause the yeah. color, the, the same color as barbecue, is yeah. the same color. Yeah. So it was like, and he goes, no. <laughs> He's like, no, I, I saw this. that and I chose that. So it's like, what's he, um, what's he up to? What's this, like a tasting challenge or something? Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's what he had in mind. So, so we did it. We let that go. We, we let it go. Yeah, we surprised. Today, <laughs> oh, no. man's coming with the Pekin Duck hoisin, hoisin sauce <laughs> flavor Pringles, bruv. And they're not even Pringles, they're rice Pringles. <laughs> so it's all fluffy in that, bruv. And they were nice. The, Wait, wait, we I, have to say, they, they were, were they were nice. Oh, no, I didn't okay, taste hold them. Hold I, didn't, I didn't taste them. No, they I'm were a little strike. nice. They were a little bit nice. Last they were... One. That's, that's one. Go on. How were they? I wouldn't... They were hold on. Go on. Okay, so t- two votes. Two. How were they? They were decent. Brilliant. So free. <laughs> we're gonna get. We're gonna get with this one. Okay. Okay, guys. So when you go to the shop again, are those hoisins? <laughs> are those hoisins? Are you going for the peak? Are you going for the peak? The, the rice range. I got barbecue. Barbecue. Wait. Uh, wait. Free. Because that was free. Wait. wait go on. That's one. Are you, um, are you looking? Produced. Are you, are you, are you going for the hoisin? The peak? No. Go on. Why is he lying? Juice is it? Juice is a dickhead. You're a sellout. Juice is a dickhead. You're a proper sellout. Juice is a dickhead. People like that, you can't trust them. You know. Juice is from Basin still. We can't trust his taste buds. Judas. 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 No. They killed Malcolm X. You know. They killed Malcolm X. Wait. A choice between that and what? Barbecue sauce. What about barbecue sauce? Wait. Wait. Barbecue is a tie. There might be a time. And with the original, oh, someone throws original. Get him out of here. And with the Pringles original, going with the Peking Duck. We, now, your whole point is, boy. No, it's not. Hey. It's boy. KG, Come I would like to call a personal meeting just with me and you. Come on in. Yeah, we, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, as two guys, yeah. We might need to reach Look behind you. Look behind you. Tune one. Go on. One is, oh, we're allowed to <laughs> So, so that's KG the comedian and Travis J. Travis so that's us. Undefeated. That's undefeated. So that's us. So that's okay, us. we've got to make an executive so we, decision. <laughs> so we. So uh, I'm gonna call seniority yeah, just yeah. because something behind me. I see our names over and over again. <laughs> it feels official. Feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, he's. It ups. Makes sense. It makes sense. You're definitely ups. Oh, mad. We've signed it off. <laughs> anyway, we done all this to talk about the argument that we had. You know, it's mad. <laughs> no, but anyone. Right. Anyway. We'll let him go. So Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> oh Jesus. Peking duck poison. Peking duck. Po- I mean, who would do that to Pringles in the first place? That's that's mad that you put a flavour like that <laughs> in such rice a ones, you know? rice. Anyway, Ooh. rice green Pringles. Wait in the comment section. It's a mad yeah? diet. Like and subscribe if you follow that. <laughs> I'm getting people to like and subscribe. Also, like and subscribe if you disagree. <laughs> just like and, dis- like and subscribe. But anyway, so the argument, so that just lets you understand the group, the yeah, group yeah. dynamic here. Yeah. So the argument came with Mayweather and was like, I argued, I debated that I think Mayweather is broke. You think Mayweather is broke? Or, I know, I don't, I don't, okay. To, not even to clean up. You're talking a about bit. billionaire not broke, guy, bro. Not broke. Or I'm talking about. I think May- Mayweather is hemorrhaging money, yeah, That's... at an alarm at an alarming rate, and he's doing things that doesn't make any sense for someone of his of his stand of his standing of his of his. I hear what you're saying. He's doing things that just makes me wonder and think. Wait, Mayweather, like, what's going on? You and think- then. We know that he's a serial gambler. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. Yeah. We know that he doesn't just shop lavishly for himself. He has a whole um he has a whole entourage. Then we know that he's he's a ladies man. 
We know that there's been girls that like girls from the UK that live in that parents ain't seen them since. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just on a jet somewhere. She's still cruising. She's still in the air somewhere. Yeah. So, like. That just tells me a lot about how you live, and he he doesn't have one. Does he have one standing no. lady, or is he, he? No, he does. He's got he's got hella hella girls. Hella girl, yeah. Girl collection. He's got a girl collection. So <laughs> it. Why can't that person have financial issues? I don't, or to I, the, when, you know I, when I say broke, you know, not you know just is, not yeah. like how he should. You're be. not talking about brokers in. He's asking for a no, change in Tesco's. Like, us, like yeah, what, they, how you see us men. What, us men. <laughs> He'll throw peas at us and be like, you broke. <laughs> but what, I, but what I'm saying is this. You're not factoring in how much money this man has made. Mm. This isn't like, you know when Tyson squandered 200 mil? Yeah. It's not like that. Okay. This Don has nearly touched a billion dollars. Yeah. You're not just going to lose that because you like to gamble and you like girls. Why? Mm, you can. Gambling. Why? Gambling. Yeah. Gambling. Okay, cool. The Collateral. Stakes. Yeah, but the stakes of how much this guy's gambling, right? I saw yeah. an article saying that apparently he gambled and lost maybe 50 mil. Yeah, fifty mil, right? In that, in that, what? In that, what was the time frame of that? Was that in the year yeah. or fifty mil in a year? Yeah, and then, we'll sit, but remember, That's he ke- he stays he stays flossing, yeah. He doesn't he, he Mayweather. We saw Mayweather. There's even that vid, there's that thing when he's just chilling with um fifty. And they just go and buy helmets for no reason. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still like make with it, yeah. But you gotta remember, like the the flossing that you're saying that you see, right? Yeah, <laughs> that could be ten bags. Yeah. Like you could spend, he could spend ten grand a month, yeah. probably for a hundred and fifty years before. No, this but guy's we're not broke. just talking about ten bags. We're so, talking about. So I'm talking like so the, the jets. The, How many so jets? The, so, the, so the minor spending yeah. is in. Oh, he's gone to Gucci. He's gone this. He's gone shopping. He's done a mad yeah. lavish trip, bro. This guy is not. That's not millions of dollars each time he's doing that. Okay, but then we're 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 limiting the, the one lev- gone the one gone. time I ain't gonna lie where I thought maybe this guy's potentially going broke. When he fought is when he fought the tension junta. The, the Japanese you when he fought junta yeah yeah <laughs> for ten mil <laughs> was it ten mil? <laughs> no, it's like yeah, it's like nine or ten mil. That's what, nine what mil. That's what made me think. Nine mil. Nah, Who did he owe money? But then, would. on the flip side, because on he knows that. Come on, he was toying with him for one year, and he knows. But come on, for, for two minutes, what? Ten on minutes. the flip side, on, on, on the flip I'll side, like no, fighters but... do this. Fighters actually have a lot of these exhibition bouts all, yeah, the all the time. Sugar Ray Leonard had the, when it, when in his prime. He was doing that. Today, no, I'm saying this stuff happens. Today. It's just not televised. It's just not televised. So we're saying what that was, AJ, what happened AJ, was, so you're telling me that listen, AJ, one day AJ's going to go and listen, fight Big Shaq or something. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> AJ's going to fight Big no, Shaq. No, you don't but... understand what I'm saying. The reason why this one got <laughs> out of hand is because they tried to pull the rug and televise it. it they televised it. No, it wasn't supposed to be a televised thing. Every oh, time no, they do these things, televised. No, they, they do was, these things. They, they don't televise them. No, he knew it was going to be televised because they set the fight up before and it got cancelled. Remember, they, Sugar this, Ray Leonard did a, an exhibition bout in, in a restaurant in front of random people while they're eating fine. food that's against fine. some amateur fighter, right? That's and he fine. had a, an eye injury at the time. Yeah. This guy didn't. Re- he said to him, he said, "Yo, stay away from my eye because it's got injured." This guy got gas, banged him in the eye. Sugar Ray Leonard bodied him, mad body shots, and just floored this guy in the yeah. ring. <laughs> I'm saying these exhibition bouts are no, normal but, for guys so, to do. So would we say Sugar Ray Leonard, say a man from? Sugar Ray's Len- Leonard's time, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't we say think about how finances were spent and it was ma- it was mad. Like people are making probably more money now of in course, boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So Sugar Ray Leonard would have had to probably at some point in his career said, "I need to take that for the money grab." Okay. Yeah. In this generation, in this time, mm-hmm. we got like when like a gambling addiction is not is not a joke, you know. And people will put their people will use their houses and future fights. You know, yeah. As collateral no, from future. Every year, Arsenal go, Man United go to different countries and they play yep. with their teams and they get paid big, that's big money. Yeah. Big, 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 big. Well, when they go and fight, when they go and play in other yeah, countries. Yeah, so you're saying that he just, yeah, he just, it's, 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 it's not the money grab. Nine it's, mil. Nine mil. Is a quick you quick can't quick. get him out. That guy, nine mil. To go, nine mil. He ain't coming out for that. Nine. nine. It's actually mad. Nine mil. Game, you're talking man. about someone. To go, you're to to Japan and we're talking about the man that you know you're what? saying he touched billions and stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm saying his investments. His investments. He ain't doing that for no nine mil. 
But you got to look at someone. If he's made so much money to the point where it's like, I can't spend this, even if I pass to my gra- like, like my great like grandkids. Yeah. I'm not rich. You lot know this, yeah? This guy has touched a lot of money has gone through his hands. You're telling me nine mil is going to wake this I guy just, up and say that he's going to take a few jabs and go and go go to another... Man yeah. says to me, if man says to me, if a man says to me, yo, pay 10 mil to go fight a, his 12-year-old but dog. You, you've taken... <laughs> I'll be like, you know what? Bring this 12-year-old you well, and I'm going to finish him. Is he, is he bald then? Is he bald? Who? Who? Is he bald? Is that why he's coming no, out you of need, I told you why he's coming out of retirement. For Wilder. I told you why. There's a there's a vendetta. This guy dressed up as Batman and he beat me and he made a mockery of me in my own country, fam. I'm coming back for that. People people like we're gonna talk about Shannon, but people like Shannon, you know it's the money grab. That guy's that guy's is old. He shouldn't be fighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we got people like I don't get me wrong. There's people that fight for the love of it, but they all everyone understands. With this sport is dangerous. We all understand that this sport is dangerous. Yeah. My man, you're telling me Mayweather, Mayweather lost his record, yeah? If Mayweather fights Pacquiao again, that'll tell me all I need to know. You see, like, footballers, when they retire early, they retire, like, 35, 40, early. Every day, you're not getting up training. Nine that's going on. That's all they've been doing for the last 30 years. So you're saying that he just wants to... Them man just want to fight. Them man like nope. fight. If I can just go and punch up a little... I think, it's, I think nope. it's different with Floyd. No, nope. Floyd, yeah. Floyd doesn't need to do what he's doing. He I Floyd, really do feel Floyd like and Floyd don't. Who else could give me nine mil just to box in it? If I if I like fighting every day, who else is gonna give me nine f- mil just to punch him up? I felt no. like f- with Floyd, it's a thing where he likes the attention. Yeah. Yeah. He misses the spotlight. Yeah. Because even yeah. when you see Javonta Davis has got the press conferences, Floyd is there. Floyd speaks for him. Mm-hmm. Like it's not helping Javonta Davis build the brand. Like it's kind of in the way. So I feel when when Javon, you know, when Javonta Davis has things going on, Floyd kind of picks up because he's like, yo. I remember this routine. I remember yeah. the press run. I remember all of this. Yeah. So I can see it being one of those things where it's like him, like Roy Jones, they stayed around too long. Yeah. And where Floyd didn't stay around too long, because he didn't, I feel like with fighters that don't lose into retirement, they oh have that God. feeling of constant invincibility where it's like, if I train and really go for it, I could beat this guy. Well, now, yes. you help, now you help me make my point though. Because if, let's say now, so we know Floyd has fighters, yeah? Mm. Are you telling me someone with fighters? He's got Javonte Davis. He needs to go and fight in another country for yeah, 9 but, mil. Yeah, but the money that a fighter makes versus the manager or promoter is different. In this mail of the productions. But, I, yeah, of course, it's, of course it's different. The fighter, it's going to take... I'm telling you, I'm telling you that... I just think, he, I, I just think he's a lonely man. I don't think he's I think he's a lonely man. I, I think, because we've, we've heard, we've heard tax, we've heard that he's had some tax issues. You, you have to take that into consideration. So we're talking about someone that gambles and has tax issues. Come on. Is, mm. it, is it far-fetched? And someone that lives lavishly. We're, we're talking that jet life. Because remember the, remember the girl from Birmingham, fam? That's the one that I remember. Just the girl from out. Birmingham that was just living on the jet, just fam. She was out. getting taking a jet to, um, to what you call 0121, you know? Yeah. yeah she was flying into 0121 and flying to Vegas. I know that's a... And she had a boyfriend. And she had a man, fam. And the family was still looking for her as well. But listen, that's small change. Floyd ain't going broke. Floyd ain't going broke. I'm not accepting it. Ever. In the I, comment section... I don't think never. he's going broke. I remember they sold Mike broke. Tyson's house, you know. Fam, he didn't make anywhere near what Floyd made. Remember, Mike Tyson's house was sold. You Floyd know? was touching some people's careers money in one fight at one point. Yeah, but remember, Mike Tyson's house. Remember, Mike Tyson's house was making. Mike Tyson's house was sold. Yeah, I mean, maybe to inflation, like it might be. It's 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 still more. No one has done what <laughs> Floyd has done financially. Hmm. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, nobody is like that money there. You don't just run out with wild spending. You need to have d- done some let's really keep, let's pay dumb attention. things. Let's pay attention to this story because people people go broke, bro. That like even as much as we can break it down, there's like we we talk about um we talk about look at the lottery winners, people that win the lottery and they lose all their peace. Yeah, but that's that's different. I know it's, you've seen it as different, money but I feel like I'm money talking... you win versus money you make is you treat that whole differently. I remember as a child, yeah, before when I got money given to me like hundred pounds for my birthday, yeah. Cool, I was excited. I squandered it. 
the minute I made my first hundred pound and bought trainers, brother, the way I looked after them trainers, oh yeah. my days, they lasted but what me happened, for like a nearly two years. But what happened when I grabbed them? They still were in great shape. What happened when he kept getting them hundred pounds? Now the hundred pounds did it. What have happened to when s- they're training? Wait, why? Because no, don't try it, bro. Because when you done when you started banging a couple shows and that, you didn't start looking after them trainers the same way. I know the box is gone. When you back there, <laughs> exactly. When you, I hear what you're saying. saying. When you get used to it, when you know that this hundred pound ain't drying up, mm. you go shopping, fam. Mm. You don't put the things in the box the way you used to. I remember that. I remember when I got my. Listen, my 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 parents were not buying me Nikes to save my life, fam. Yeah, I remember honesty lane. Go for it, honesty lane. Yeah. <laughs> You know I could never dress anyway. That's been my that's been my this has been my problem for the beginning of our story, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it was one no uniform day, and um, I think my mum. What did she do? She gave me like she gave me thirty pounds, yeah. But I had to get my whole outfit with that, so I was gonna get my trainers and <laughs> my trainers and my outfit. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. So I was like, yo, oh, that hurts. I'm going to kill him. And this is before Primark is even out for you to... This is right. I said, I'm going to kill them with this one. So I went East Street. <laughs> I went East Street, yeah. And I got a salmon <laughs> jeans, jeans top and jeans, same color. Salmon. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait. wait, 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 wait. Salmon. Then I went Shoe Express <laughs> and I saw these trainers. They look like the Nike ones. You know, it says air on them. <laughs> I bought those bad boys. <laughs> but they're air techs. <laughs> they, was like, they, were just, they were horrible. They were Nikes. They weren't Nikes. They look like Nikes, though. They look canon coffee of Nikes. Oh, Anything. Fuck. Hold on. This is it. So I, had it all sh- I had bought the shit. Thirty pound. I think I had some change. I've bought like um fruitella or chewits or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got home and I was like, I laid it on the other bed. I'm gonna kill them. No uniform day. Oh, they they ain't really for me. <laughs> salmon gang. My salmon gang. <laughs> I stepped in. I, I stepped in slow. And then <laughs> it didn't go the way I wanted it to go. <laughs> of course. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you coming? I come in. Like, <laughs> I, come in, in I came in. Yeah, I came in like you lot. I've, I've killed these lot. And then <laughs> they was like, "Wait, <laughs> let me see your trainers." <laughs> and my aim of was just hard. <laughs> and they were like, "Wait, wait, take them, take them off, take them off." <laughs> oh. Now I'm the you Nigerian know. kid with a like, with, like I'm I'm there with sock. <laughs> I mean, like they're looking, they're inspecting my trainers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, shit, I shouldn't have taken them off, you know. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, <laughs> I kept it on. I kept it going. Just start running. Because you can't fight in socks. It yeah. looks shit. You can't start fighting in socks. It's wild. That like. one loose stone will just mess you up. <laughs> <laughs> so that sharp stone. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so I said, oh man. <laughs> so they passed it around here, yeah. and then, then finally, the person that was wearing the original shoe, <laughs> the one that I should be wearing, they put his into the mix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, the designers That's did a madness. The real one. Yeah, the real <laughs> and the fake one. No. Oh man, listen. I was just looking at them thinking in the light, you know, touching the air bubble. <laughs> I was doing stuff, I was doing bare scientific testing. <laughs> Checking the hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> at that time, I'm thinking, shit, really shouldn't have taken them off, you know? Oh. So, <laughs> honesty, Elaine is real. Cause, so, the next one, I'm like, this shit's not happening. <laughs> this is never gonna happen again. <laughs> my my auntie like I got some hand me downs now in it, and it's next uniform day. I'm like I'm gonna kill. Don't the salmon thing. They I mean they just left that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because there they was let, bigger. They let that first off. It's like what are so those? My, so my auntie gave me these um these these night trainers, bro. 
they were original they were real oh man this uniform day I was ready <laughs> <laughs> no one cared <laughs> I came back from that bro. I came back no one cared bro oh, that's... it's like no one acknowledged him that's sad <laughs> You know, you tried to bring it up on the low. Yeah, I tried to. And they were tight. They didn't fit me as well. You know, when you, got, you, know when you walk here and you got to hit the back of your heel. Because <laughs> the toes at the front are curling. Because the front and it's hurting. But you're like... <laughs> oh, God. And the thing is, I yeah, struggled, you know. Is, the thing is, when the shoes don't fit you, yeah, it's okay in the morning. It's okay in the morning. I was but by the end of the day, <laughs> I'm going through pain, you know. When I when I teach uh, my childhood, yeah, it was horrible, fam. <laughs> like the oh, pain, that's funny. but I could just fight. That's the one thing that yeah, had the, I could just fight. Yeah, Talk yeah, yeah. about bring up my trainers again. <laughs> so on that day, yeah, it's cool. Scientific test. I'll mash you. Up. I'll mash you up. <laughs> that's what it was. I'll that's mash they, you up. What, that's why they what about him? What? Cause you know when why are you laughing? I'm that guy. No, you know that. if everyone's laughing, that. but you're and, not certified. You, why are you laughing? You cancel that laughter quick, you know. <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> you cancel that laughter quick, you know. You doing? You mean, <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing, though? Nah, no, these men. Them. Yeah, no, nah, it's finished, fam. <laughs> yeah, and bro, the worst thing is, yeah, that makes it funnier, you know. <laughs> no, it's not funny. When, <laughs> no. I, when it gets serious, I've got my shoes on now, bro. Who, what, are you, what are you saying? Nah, my, I'm, I'm back, fam. My shoes are on, fam. What are you saying? Oh, my goodness. So, face. this is what I'm saying, like... Right, so, last one oh, before we go, on. yeah? Yeah, go on. If you woke up one morning, yeah? Yeah. With mad superhuman strength. Yeah. Like, I'm talking, like, your your strength is nuts. You're benching whatever you decide to bench. Mm. What would you do? So, I'm woken up... You woke just... up just inhumane strength, bruv. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do superhero things. I'm trying to lose weight first. Mm. I'm trying to lose a lot of weight. Okay. Yeah? And I'm gonna call out the henchest guy ever. <laughs> so I call out AJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, I'll uh, lose weight, like yeah, yeah, marker yeah. style, marker type weight. Just say it's more like amazing. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's more amazing. Like how? How did he do it? I'm calling out everyone. You know what I do? Wait, can I still get shot though? Cause I just feel like you can recover from that. I can recover you're, you're from gunshot wounds. You're invincible with this. Okay, cool, yeah. But yeah, your yeah. lifespan is still the same lifespan. So it's like, just the whole duration of your life as it what is now. What are you doing though? So I'm calling that AJ. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm clearing up the whole super middleweight division. <laughs> Why? Just I'm you... starting my boxing career and I'm talking trash. I'm calling out everyone, fam. Everyone's mentions on Twitter. <laughs> I'm the, I'll be the worst, bruv. <laughs> The, How though? What are you saying to the bro? I'm getting in people's mentions. I'm talking about food. I'll be like, bro, look at your hairline, fam. You get a hair transplant. What is that drawn on? Like, I'm coming for random things. I'm so just, then you, I'm you going for Canelo. I want Triple G. I want Saunders. I want Callum Smith. I want. Um, so you secure you bang, it. I want everyone. So you fam. secure the fight, but on the day that on at that, as soon as the bell goes, you, you feel your strength go. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. We did. That's such a scary prospect, you know, because you know <laughs> the, the the trash talk that you've done up to this point yeah, yeah, yeah. is now mad pressure. Nah, I'm. All right, let's say, am I in the ring already, or am I in the change room before I'm supposed to walk out? No, you're on your way into the ring. On your way in, like you're I'll halfway pretend. though. Oh, you're halfway. So they done easy. the they done the pyro te- No, that's bro, easy. No, I know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. The pyro. I'm pretending yeah. like my, my like my girl's getting beat up by someone in the crowd, rushing into the crowd. <laughs> Banging someone in the crowd. Listen, bro, the security in that, they can't let the fight go ahead. I've just banged two people. The one done's like unconscious. That. Yeah, I've attacked him. I've done a madness. The security that they can't they can't the fight. fight. Can't they can't go ahead with that. I've attacked two and people. And now you built the, the police are here. It for the next yeah, fight. Exactly. Khabib. And by then I can get back on my steroids and see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saving time, fam. <laughs> I'm mean, me. I'm, I'm apologizing in the ring. Bro. No, no, no. I apologize. You got, yeah, go I lost the power. Go I apologize. No. Be, the, be the journeyman that you're destined to be, fam. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm not journeyman, bro. I'm undefeated, fam. I'm oh and oh. Don't get twisted. Uh, Listen, you know what? You know, yeah, not today, but mm. one day we need to go through. The, there's actually footage of my boxing match. We have to. We haven't even talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yet. we're gonna. We we it's have mad. to. We'll do that. We'll there's do so that. much. To, there's so much to do. There's uh, amazing big fights, guys. Boxing is mad exciting, man. And, like, we're here to give another side of boxing. We're here to, like, you know, line it up and stuff. Line so it up, man. What I need you lot, everyone to do, I've said it a few times, but I just want you to know, you need to like and subscribe and tell your people about this show. Because we're here every once, every two. We're here. 
every other week we're here, man. You know what I mean? Like, why not? Something different, innit? But That's yeah, it. people. And shout out to everyone in the YouTube comments, man. Wow. Um, yeah, we. Do you, do you, we, should we, we do a quick, fit, yeah, quick little run through? Yeah, yeah, quick yeah, little yeah, run, run through, through, run through, run through. Because uh, one name I can I can I can think of just off the top of my head that I see comment Chris Brotherton. Shout out, man, like Chris Brotherton, man, bro. like Chris Brotherton, fam. Chris Brotherton is Great always here, fam. fam. Proper. Hold on one second. All right, so let's see. Let's let's get some of these comments in. Respond yeah, we to some have to of read these the comments because these guys are supporting the team. All right, so you see when I was back in Billy Joe Saunders, yeah, everyone agrees with me, bro. Okay. Chris Brotherton's out and saying Billy Joe Saunders is amazing. I'd say he beats Triple G too. I think it's quite oh. well known. He wanted the fight with Triple G for a while, but Triple G has been avoiding him. Lie, I tell. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, and, um, and then, what's uh, that? Andrew, I can't say your last name. Andrew Kag- Kagia? Kagia? We're going yeah, to go that. with that one. He said, it's peak for you two because I actually like both fighters talking about Yard and Boatsy. Yeah. He said, they're both good fighters in their own way. Yard has the power over Boatsy, but Boatsy's technically better. Hashtag pop, war. Pop, 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 pop. Chris Brotherton says, I think Kovalev would bite your hand off to fight Yard next. Kovalev lost to Ward twice, yes, but Ward is behind Mayweather as the second best fighter of our generation, so forget about that. After Ward, he then fought three times in like eight months. First two fights, TKO wins, and he wanted to do that again in the third against Alvarez. Unfortunately, Alvarez is a harder hitter, so we saw Kovalev go back to his boxing and then took the rematch. No. Hey, we need to get Chris. We need Chris Brotherton. Make sure next time when we do a live, yeah, I love you to call in, man, and just want to get your your thoughts on a lot of things, man, because nah, you're real. a big. He's a great defeater. Nah, for real. He's and a he great was, defeater. Remember the conversation about Michael Bent and yeah. did you let your son fight? Now he said, "I will be sending my son boxing when he's six. He would be there already if if our ABC would take him. He's been hitting the bag since he was two. He loves it. As long as it's fifty fifty sanctioned and and with the proper rules, I could watch my son fighting. Dot dot dot. I think." Yeah, we need we need to talk to Chris Brotherton, bro. You 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 six, bro. You don't know if he really likes it, fam. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's just doing his thing, fam. You don't know, fam. He's six, bro. Bro, we don't know what them kids like, fam. But like, he likes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he go likes on, it. Go to the body. Go yeah. to the body. <laughs> Anon- Anonymous forty seven because Billy Joe's a very good fighter and has the ability to beat Triple G and Canelo. These people are on crack, but it's fine anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we're this is undefeated. Shout out to everyone who comments. Thank you for commenting. Like, Thank you for you guys are great defeats. We can't do this. Well, the show wouldn't be a show without you guys. So big up, like and subscribe. We love you guys. Peace.